Hi friends, my name is Omkar Jagdare. I'm coming at you from Detroit, Michigan. And today I'm going to talk to you about highest paying jobs in US. But before we get started, I would really appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up to the video. It allows me to reach out to more people just like you. My goal with this video, to be honest, is to give you an idea of what kind of different programs you have, what kind of majors you can study in America, which will allow you to make these high incomes. Also, my goal is to tell you that in the shortest amount of time of studying, how you can get maximum amount of jobs. Number one um, program in my mind, you know, obviously is computer science. But computer science or uh, data science, uh, like data analytics, these kind of jobs pay really, really high incomes as of now. Um, the reason for that is being these jobs are in demand. If you really understand, the tech industry operates a little bit different than normal industries like civil, which I work in. For example, most of the profit margins in civil engineering companies are literally 10% on a project. Whereas in companies like Google, Facebook, the profit margins on these projects are almost 60 to 70%. So these companies are very happy to pay their employees almost 40, 50, 60% of these profits. And they don't mind doing that because even after that, they can keep a significant chunk of money for their shareholders or stockholders. So saying that, Computer science is one of the highest paid profession. For example, um, I have friends who graduate with a mechanical engineering degree or a civil engineering degree in uh, Detroit metro area, Atlanta area, or other areas of US, and they'll be making 60, 70,000 dollars. Whereas same friends who graduate with computer science degrees will make almost 15 to 20,000 dollars more. If they are in bigger cities like New York or Chicago, they'll make even higher incomes. Most of them usually start with $100,000 or $125,000 salaries if they're working at these good companies. Um, even if they're working at normal companies, they'll still make ninety dollars to $100,000. So you have to understand that these degrees will definitely give you an edge over other people. The second type of degree I want to talk to you about is project managers. Recently, I have found out that technical program managers, technical project managers, product managers are really in high demand. Um, things like Scrum Master, which is basically kind of a project manager who manages different aspects of a project. Um, these kind of jobs are in really high demand. They need people who can manage different aspects of projects and eventually assemble that and kind of deliver the project. So what kind of incomes you should really expect? Usually if you're working in a like normal metropolitan area like Detroit or Atlanta or something like that, you will be making about 80 to $85,000. In some cases, $90,000 if you're a scrum master. So these kind of professions will pay that kind of income. Now, if you're working in like Silicon Valley, New York City, uh, San Francisco, I meant earlier, or Austin, Texas, you will get very, very high incomes. And if you're working for um, these FANG companies, you might even make a $150,000, $200,000 in your starting jobs because obviously these are really good professions, uh, really good companies and they pay really high incomes and so if you are one of those lucky candidates who happen to be in that area or you have one or two years of experience at another company and you get into this company you may be one of those fortunate people to make that kind of income again there's it's very complicated to get into these companies the other degrees like biomedical engineering chemical engineering are also highly paid professions but you have to understand one thing folks in my opinion they are like any other degree like chemical like mechanical engineering or civil engineering these kind of degrees i feel is like you have to be really passionate about your job and you really have to enjoy doing that and through that when you work really hard at it you will get good at it and you know your company will understand the value you bring to your office and that's the way I feel like with these kind of professions you're able to claim higher incomes when you are looking at these different kind of degrees and you may be thinking you know uh, computer science is paid so high I should do it too or maybe people around you are recommending you or maybe sometimes pushing you to do a computer science degree now this is great you know what if your goal is to like the make maximum amount of income in the shortest amount of time then yeah it makes sense okay but here is what i want to say to you 
I look at US, um, you know, like I look at my job or my work or whatever it is as a long term game. I don't look at it as a two years or a five year or a 10 year plan. The way I look at life is, hey, if I give value, if I'm, I'm a valuable human being, your income will always be proportional to the value you give. So for example, maybe today you might have a friend of yours who may be in computer science and he may be making $100,000, $150,000 and you may be making $60,000. It's fine, you know, five years, 10 years down the road, understand if you become really good at what you do and you become the kind of person in your company who provides really good value and if you choose your career well like you have enough smarts to know when to jump the company you have enough smarts to understand what directions you can take your career in you will be able to end up where they are I, and that's totally honestly in my opinion I believe it you know um, for example I have people in my office who are just 10 years experience and they are vice president of the company making really really high six figure incomes with other kind of perks which comes with like you know a really good corporate job so yes you know even though they may not have started with really high paying jobs initially but through the value they give to the company they are able to get there another thing i want you to understand is what kind of person you are are you the kind of person who really enjoys their work or are you the kind of person who is like hey i want to make the maximum amount of money in the given 40 hours i don't care if i work on civil engineering mechanical engineering or whatever it is i just want to make the maximum amount of money if you're that kind of person then maybe great you know these kind of different degrees may make sense for you or if you are the kind of person who is like hey you know what i'm really passionate about architecture i'm really passionate about computer science i'm really passionate about civil engineering if that is what you're passionate about and that's the field you want to go in i think that's the way you should look at life um, that's the way you should go because hey you know if everybody started doing computer science nobody will do other degrees so you have to kind of find a balance in what you want to do okay when I think about what kind of career I want or what kind of income I want, I also think about what kind of quality of life I want. By that, what I mean is like, hey, the profession I've chosen, like let's say if I'm making really high six-figure income, what price am I paying to get there? Now, let's say if you're making 150K, but you're working, let's say 70, 80 hours, 60 hours a week, then your hourly rate is obviously low. You're just doing a lot of overtime if you compare to someone else, you know, if you really understand that way. Second, what else are you sacrificing? You're sacrificing, if you are in your 30s, 35, you're sacrificing time with your family, you're sacrificing time with your spouse, your partner, you're sacrificing time to work on your personal projects, your passions. So understand what you are willing to give up to get what you are have. So when I came to US, I came to America for a better life than what I was living back my home. Uh, and same is going to be for wherever you are for. I didn't come here to be a slave to the lowest bidder in corporate America, you know, because that's what most companies do. They will give you the least amount of money to keep you in the company and eventually if they can find somebody cheaper than you and have you know who can do the same amount of work you can do or even better they'll replace you and that's always you know it's corporate america it's, it's a shrewd game so you have to understand that so similarly what i what my goal with my work is i want my work to be on autopilot i don't want to go through the stress every month or every week thinking that hey if i did not perform really 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 high they will let me go i don't want to live in that kind of fear or stuff like that because that's the kind of person i am i enjoy working and i like to have systems in place which kind of take care of my work like the fact that computer science majors are paid really high and that that's a great opportunity if you are the kind of person who want to get into tech industry who enjoys tech you, more power to you go ahead and do that but if you're the kind of person who enjoys these normal fields like civil engineering mechanical engineering uh, don't think 
like you may think that computer science is glorified you know and it is in a way but it's fine if you can do these degrees it's totally fine understand maybe even though today you may not be making as much income as your counterparts i feel in my opinion, honest and humble opinion if you become a valuable person in the next 5 years 7 years you make yourself valuable by learning new stuff becoming more people friendly develop some leadership skills you will be able to catch up to the other incomes people are making in other field because eventually in management in leadership roles no CEOs make same income obviously again tech people do make a little bit more income you know saying that um, it's better to be in tech than this thing but hey it's fine find something that you really enjoy to do and don't worry about the incomes in my opinion yes you know um, you also want to make sure that you know if you are the kind of person who's gonna feel bad that your friend did something like that and you didn't get a chance to do hey this is the video for you that hey you know what if you are that kind of person go ahead and choose one of these high paying degrees so that you can do well in your corporate career okay I think that's pretty much what I had for you I really enjoyed talking to you if you have any questions and you want to talk to me personally you can connect with me on my Instagram handle at omkarajagdare uh, if you have questions or comments put it in the comment section and I'll get back to you but again, I'll see you next time. Bye.